Hey everybody, Basil Ray from VapeTV.com. Rendering one video, filming another. Gotta make up for lost time. Something that's been in my hands for a long time, and I've talked about it on the show a few times, is the Surge Tank prototype from JC Modtronics. Uh, this is not available yet. I have had this for far too long, and uh, it's one that I go back and forth with. So I use it for a while, feel like it's too big, put it down, go back, use it for a while. Just got rid of my GGTS, and so now I'm using it again, and uh, it does work really well. The idea here is that this tank will turn any 510 connected mod into a bottom feeding mod. So uh, I'm going to throw this on my P18 here, uh, and I've got an 18650 inside, one and a half ohm atomizer on top. Uh, the idea being uh, there is a juice bottle that is held internally here. So go ahead and give that a little squeeze. It shoots juice up into the cup here, can intake that into the Addy and vape away. So nice little vape here. Uh, this works really well. The one big complaint I have is the size. This is the six mil tank version. Uh, when these start to get released, there will also be a smaller three mil tank, but three mil at a tank, probably not going to be enough if I'm, you know, really needing to carry a tank. So consists really of uh, about two pieces as far as the eye can see phones blowing up and that is the top cap and the bottom cap we're going to tear all this down take a look at how it works put to uh, put it back together it is important to note before we do that this is a prototype tank you can see I've uh, taken it off of the mod and I've got the atomizer off let's tear this thing apart now one thing to say again this is a prototype so fit and finish some of those things may change a bit uh, what you see here this connection uh, needs to to be screwed in together very tightly so the bottom cap and the top cap it's insulated but as you can see the connection here that uh, electricity has got to have a place to go uh, that voltage to get to the atomizer so this is going to be a pretty tight squeeze and consequently uh, may sound a little grindy I do need to slap an extra coat of Noelox on this so here is the bottom cap what you'll see here is this kind of little cup uh, this insulates the bottom of the bottle from uh, the actual uh, connection that's being made here so the juice bottle uh, again a six mil bottle and I've got to have one laying on my desk my desk is an absolute disaster as always so here's a six mil bottle that is going to nestle uh, they're right inside of that cup. So that is a look at the bottom piece. It has a 510 connector on the bottom. Uh, it's all sealed off. Nothing's going to leak. Nothing's going to get through here. Top piece is quite a bit more complex. If we take a careful look, you can kind of see a little line here. There are separate pieces inside and outside. Part of that is to help insulate the device. Six mil juice bottle screws in the bottom. Uh, you can see here protruding is the feed tube. It's a solid metal tube. It runs up to the atomizer. So at the top of this, uh, we've got a nice recessed juice well and the 510 atomizer connection. You can see some juice is pulled up in there. That's one thing is that it takes a lot to really get this juice out of here. You can see I've pretty much got it inverted and nothing is coming out. So this does really hold juice pretty well. One of the changes uh, that I know Justin is intending to make is to actually make sure this is kind of uh, beveled at an angle so juice flows better back to the atomizer. Uh, much like your common bottom feeders on the market, it will allow for re-intake through the connection there. And let's get this out. This is one thing too with this uh, kind of pre-production beta model here. You can see a little no locks on the old hands. Um, the bottle has to be screwed in here very, very firmly in order to get everything to fit together to the point where sometimes it gets to be hard to actually get uh, the bottle in without shooting juice everywhere. But I'm sure that will be cleaned up by the time production rolls around. So let me carefully remove this, try not to drip too much all over the place. So internally here we can see here is the metal feed tube uh, the solid piece leads up into the atomizer fitting so it's obviously not a sealed connection here uh, juice isn't going to be able to really run down anywhere uh, in here you may get some residual juice uh, and you can kind of see it looks wet there at the top and that's simply from uh, squeezing the bottle and getting juice up so nothing to fear there uh, you can also see here again 
uh, that kind of insulated ring around where the power is actually going to conduct. Uh, so it works really well. It is very well machined, very nice and shiny, of course. To my hands being dirty and flipping this thing around, I've got juice everywhere. Uh, you would put the juice bottle back in. So you take it off, fill it up, and you screw this back together. Again, keeping in mind that you need to uh, keep this f you know, very tight, very snug fit here or it's just simply not going to fire and that is a look at the surge tank oh and of course uh, it has a cutout window here uh, where you would squeeze the bottle that almost goes without saying you can see the feed tube there in the middle there we have it a look at the prototype of the surge tank mod I'll leave you with a parting shot of that bad boy so they have it on a deep look here at the surge tank tear down uh, got it back together all assembled now ready to go again and i do find this to just be a pretty simple experience if you've ever had um you know a bottom feeder of any kind you're going to be used to squeezing the bottle getting the juice maybe you give it a little and uh you're on your way it does exactly what it's advertised to do turns any mod into a bottom feeder looks well doing it it's all made out of aluminum it's all machined in the usa uh with couple of small exceptions that being the atomizer connections nobody in the usa is really making those so consequently justin and the gang had to go elsewhere flat out works gotta like that a lot so pricing i don't believe has been announced like i said i've had this for a really long time this video is long 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 overdue uh, justin apologies life sometimes gets in the way my friend so Look for this uh, coming soon. You can check it out there over on the ECF, and I know that uh, he's on Vapor's forum as well. Uh, feel free to PM him, send him some love, and you can bug him about when this is coming out. But this is going to be a nice option for those of you that don't want to spring for a separate device, but want a true bottom-fed tanking experience. This is all going to lead up to uh, their own mod, which is going to be pretty snazzy, I think, uh, in the long run. So keep your eye out for that as well. JC Modtronics. I'm Basil Ray. Catch me Monday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on The Vape TV, facebook.com slash Basil Ray, or the Twitter, at symbol Basil Ray. Until we meet each other again, please take care. Well,